I'm going to show you some features behind the scenes in EasyCam. We'll start with engraving. Select Curve Chain, pick a piece of geometry, then a second piece that's not connected in any way to the first, and EasyCam will look throughout the screen and find all geometry for engraving. Now I'm going to be practical and select only the numbers. Rather than delete the work step, I can just simply clear all links by selecting this red oval in the corner. Choose Curve Chain again. We're going to discriminate by the color white and rechain. Now your numbers are ready for engraving. A cool way to edit is by holding the control button down on your keyboard and left mouse clicking on something. Now don't forget you can always use the discrimination line arc circle or curve and you get a series of editing options. Now I'll show you how to determine the cutter path direction on a contour work step. Use curve chain and clearly select either the right side or left side of a line or an arc. Being careful not to pick too close to an intersection because we might get the wrong piece of geometry or being careful not to select the midpoint of a line or an arc because you may end up with the left side when you wanted the right side. So if I pick this side of the line, the curve wants to flow through the middle to the end so if I'm standing here looking down, to cut the outside of this rectangle, I would want the cutter on the left side. Left side is used for climb milling. The right side would be convention milling. If I chose incorrect, you can always reverse the curve with this arrow here. Next, I'm going to show you how to repeat a work step maybe for multiple vices or changing the location using fixture offsets in sequence. Click on the advance button, then set your base fixture offset, whether it be 1 or it could even be 55. Go to the repetitions tab, add translation, and a distance of 0 in both X and Y will give you the multiple fixture offsets based on the number of copies. So here you're going to have G54, G55, G56. Now I want to see the G code just for this particular work step. So I can deactivate the other work steps by simply right mouse clicking on them. Verify your work step and then post the code. As you can see listed, our base offset is 54, and we have 55 and 56. Let's say I had a large plate and there were a ton of holes, and they were of different values. Well, EasyCam can automatically chain all the holes of similar diameter. Using Curve Chain, you pick the first hole, then the second hole of the same value, and EasyCam will find the rest. The next scenario, let's say I have a large clamp in between these eight holes. Well, for practical purposes, I would want the drilling operation to retract to the clearance plane for these first four holes. Then I would want it to retract to the rapid plane to get over the clamp, then carry on with the clearance plane. You would do that by choosing Curve Linear, Snap to Circle Center, change over to a rapid move, back over to linear, then it knows enough to go to the clearance plane, come over the rapid plane, and back down to clearance again. Another way of doing this is simply use linear for all eight holes, 
go to work step, define path, modify links, and toggle rapid. Then I can just pick that middle link and it gives me the rapid move over the clamps. A rectangle's corner points are defined by absolute positioning. Let's say I wanted to change that and define the rectangle by its size. Select your first point, then come over and toggle it to incremental. Now I can define the length in X and the width in Y. Be sure to go back to absolute. I'm just going to throw up some dimensions. I did this to remind you that dimensions are only viewed in the XY plane. Now let's go back to our work steps. Let's say I wanted to move this drill operation to the first one listed. Select the work step and use the left arrow key to move it up the list. Use the right arrow key to move it back down. We have a spreadsheet that you can scroll up from the bottom. And you can see we have our tool numbers listed here in the list box. Let's say I wanted to sort by tool number, saving you machine time on tool changes. You right mouse click and go to utilities to sort by tool number. And this concludes some of the features that are behind the scenes.